Well, good morning and welcome to your Friday Five for Five. Things are a bit different today. I am actually here in the choir room at the church. Um, and it's kind of funny because what I'm going to talk about today uh, kind of just lays right into line with what has happened over these last few days. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Adam Howard. I'm the worship pastor here at First Baptist Church of the Islands. And um, today I had planned on showing you guys an almost fully renovated camper. Um, that was my plan. My plan back several, I guess about two months ago when we got the camper and we started to work in it, my thoughts were that by the week of my birthday, I would have that camper almost done. My birthday was Wednesday, and so I thought by this Friday, I would be showing you guys a pretty much completed RV. Well, that's not the case. In my plans, I had not planned on extreme heat uh, accompanied by unbelievable humidity. <laughs> I had someone at the Kroger tell me that they felt like the humidity was at least 2,000%, and I could almost agree with that. But for those of you who do any kind of home repair or painting or anything like that, you know that heat and humidity uh, are really enemies when it comes to anything like that. Adhesives don't, don't tend to set well. Paints don't set well. Just a lot of issues happen when you've got that kind of humidity and heat. And to top it all off, we only have shore power and or the generator there in the RV, but I don't really want to run that all the time because of the fumes from the from the generator. And then, you know, shore power, those things require a lot of power. So I was trying to really limit that, but didn't expect that to happen, nor did I expect there to be unbelievable <laughs> um Rain. We seem to have rain all the time now, and that has hindered me from being able to go to the hardware store and pick up the larger pieces I need and throw them in the back of the truck and bring those back. So anyway, long story short, my plans have changed. Well, then yesterday I was getting my video filmed. I think this is the sixth or seventh time that I have filmed this video. <laughs> Because every time I would try to film it, I would get it filmed, and I would be in the editing process, and the video would just go away. I can't explain that. It would just go away. I would be working on it, and all of a sudden, it would just go away. <laughs> I mean, it really, there's no explanation for it. So it's just been crazy. So my plans totally got upended this week. Not only from the video, but also from the plans I had set for myself for this whole renovation. And it made me think of a passage of scripture that I'm sure you know, but one that I love. It's from the book of Proverbs. It's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. And it says, the mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. You know, aren't you so glad that even though we have got everything all planned out the way we want it to go, aren't you glad that the Lord directs our steps? I know you probably like me have time after time after time in your life that you had a plan and on the other side of that plan, here on this side, as you look back, you realize that the steps that God led for you to walk through were far better than the plan that you had. You know, God's outcome is so much better than ours. He is sovereign, and God knows what we don't know. And if we allow God to lead us, and if we will follow his steps, allow him to direct our steps, and not focus so much on our plan but on his plan for our lives, you'll be amazed at what God can do. Am I disappointed that I'm not finished with the camper yet? Yeah, I am. I was ready to go. You know, really, we're not planning on any kind of trip in the camper until September. So I've got plenty of time to continue on and finish it the way I want to finish it. And I know that it's going to be much better than what it could have been because I'm able to focus more on doing what I need to do and doing it correctly instead of trying to meet this arbitrary deadline I've set for myself. I don't know what plans you've had. I don't know how your plans have changed, but I do know that as we plan, God wills our steps. So we need to follow after him. The mind of man plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Let the Lord direct you in all that you do. And don't be afraid to step outside of your plans and follow him. We love you guys. Can't wait to see you Sunday morning. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye.